What's up, guys? It's Trickster to City here, bringing you another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to 7th Stand user. In the last episode, we faced off against Polnareff, and we beat his French ass! Barely! Jesus fucking Christ, that boss was hard. And now, um, I did some grinding, level 15 Zack, of course, and uh, I went along with Joseph. Okay, I'm gonna lie. I actually lied. I uh, during the grinding process, I actually went with Kakyoin, and currently Kakyoin should be at level 14 by now, which is monstrous to say the least. But in this episode, we're gonna go on. Uh, uh, we're gonna continue the story, and not only that, um, find the sub boss that's in this area. So. For now, uh, I'm gonna show you something. Uh, wait, am I still in poison? What? Oh. Okay, hold on. Nothing has changed. So why am I being... Okay... Huh... Okay. So, I guess this is one of those situations where... Um... I guess, um... How do I say this? Um, this feels like the malaria system in uh, Far Cry 2. Where you get weaker and weaker every time. And they start to show signs. So, I guess I was showing that I was having a bit of a cold. So, the cold medicine was actually pretty useful. Anyways... Now, on to the actual thing. This guy. Man in Western wear. Uh, <clears throat> no, not yet. I can't work alone. So, funny. Funny again, because this is the game's way of foreshadowing, is by putting NPCs there that you'd think are not any relevance to the story, but there is. To, do to a JoJo fan who has went past part three, or has gone past the first season of the JoJo Part 3 anime, you know who this guy is. But I won't spoil, be spoil who it is. Just saying, that guy is gonna be important later on. Now, uh, the first hint to having a sub-boss here is by this little girl, who says, I saw someone really strange as soon as I made eye contact, he ran up a script, it's good, he was so fast, he's gonna sit there with a huge boot for Vince. Meaning, we've got another stand user, and it's not Avdol, because that would be stupid. Plus, Regina's Red isn't fast. I'm beginning to think... Shit. Uh... Get the fuck off my dick. Um, anyways, I'm beginning to think it's this chick over here. Oh, what did you... I dropped my wallet in the ocean. <laughs> Of course! Of course, right? Fuck you, Joseph! Because you- Because you have that ability- Because, right? Uh, funny thing is- Funny thing is that gentleman- That gentlemanly side of his will come to bite him in the ass later on. So, let's go talk to this guy. Damn it. Uh, odd costume fellow hanging around it earlier. Uh, okay, what about this bitch? Damn it, uh, Will O' Wisp, uh. Okay, so he's hidden behind the building. Yeah, right. I thought this was standing good! <laughs> it's Stroheim! It's Stroheim! Everybody! It's Stroheim! Who are you, geezer? Why do you know my name? Do you know? Happy! You happy! And look, my life has a prosthetic. It's me, Joseph Joestar. What's Yes, this is Stroheim's cameo. Hidden behind a building with a beaten up truck. Jo Joseph? Joseph Joestar? Is that you? Yes. What? 1989? Last time I remember, I was fighting for my country, standing great in need for the Oh! Okay, so, as you remember, this has been 50 years, 
And during the epilogue of part two, by the way, it's 2012 now, you should pretty much know this by now, is that Strawheim was reported to be disappeared. Now that we see him back here, just meeting him up with Joseph is so fucking cool. I'd also heard you died in that battle. I never drew like this. 46 years later. You're definitely the Joseph I know. Yes, I guess it's true. It really is 1899. And the Nazis are long gone now. I can't believe it. Thomas, but this. Why you got here? We're in someone. I say D is behind it. Ever since you. You know, Stalingrad was going to gruesome battle. You want to go back? Die for the final land is assault. Mm, turn out that well. But a life spreading my country is a life not wasted. Somehow I knew you say that. Even if you don't understand what you want to go back home only to march to your death. If you still haven't returned once Dio's been defeated, then I'll try to find a stand that can help you. I'm sure there's one out there. I mean your uh, I mean your death, Jojo. If I can be assisted, let me know. Okay. <laughs> oh ha that's that's funny. Um you can't really beat the shit out out of him. Okay, so we're gonna find that guy. He's probably behind a building somewhere. That, 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 that keeps spamming. Ah, he's gotta be somewhere. Shit. Uh, is it this guy? Nope. 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 Damn it, where's the fucking. Okay, I could go ahead and maybe. Uh, let me just take care of this bitch for a second. To be honest, I don't know what you really expect at this point. Uh, no. I don't trust shady dealers who sell for me shit for Ringy. Who's what the fuck? Maybe this guy? Oh yeah, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, no. Shit. Ah, I want to give up, but I'm seriously not. This. <sighs> Shit. You can't really tell which ones are the enemies and which one are not. Not, so it's pretty hard to do so. I mean, probably these guys, but fuck it. No, we're not departing just yet. Ugh, come on! I don't want to cut the video just to find this! Ugh. So fucking unbelievable. Alright. Ah, you know what? I give up. Shit. Okay, this is a battle I can't go, so. I don't want to fight you guys, seriously. Ah, fuck off. Die. You're barely even a match for us. Jesus. Okay, fuck. At least I can escape that because yeah I guess we'll never find out the sub boss for this area then cuz fuck you am I right uh, that's just the part here's our ship I made sure no other passengers will be aboard just in case our trip goes anything like last time Monsieur Josta ah god damn it I can't do French Pardon my interruption, but I have a question to ask you. Hmm? Ask away. I noticed that, uh, I noticed you never take that glove off, even during meals. Now, this may sound odd, but is your left hand by any times also a right hand? Oh, the plot thickens. Is my left hand a right hand? That really is an odd question. What do you mean? I'm searching for the man who killed my sister. I don't know what he looks like, but I do know that Z that he has two right hands. 
Joseph took off his glove to reveal his prosthetic. It's an old battle wound. It happened about 50 years ago. Just if I remembered, you were screaming like a little bitch. <laughs> Pardon, I didn't mean to cry. It's been, it's, it's been three years now. My little sister was walking home with a classmate in the backwoods of France. There was a man standing in the middle of the road. Even though it was pouring rain, he was completely dead, as if protected by a door. Just then, her friend's chest was slashed open by the wind. After that, my sister was raped and killed. That was the man's only aim. Her friend not only the same fate. But since he stood with his back to them, she never saw his face. Just that she had two right hands. No one believed her testimony. Only I understood. I knew that he must have had the same ability as me. That definitely sounds like the work of a stand user. That's why I swore to hunt down and kill that man, so that my sister's soul can finally rest in peace. I swore to exact revenge on him with my stand, to make him suffer what she did. And then, one year ago, I met Dio. Dio claimed to know the whereabouts of the man with two right hands. I was ordered to kill you in the same red information. Not really! Considering what he really did was just talk and then get possessed by a flush bun. I truly believe that it was the right thing to do. See, even Abdul was saying, That was the flood flesh bun's influence, no doubt. Dio has a knack for exploiting people's vulnerabilities. Yes, but after hearing your story, it's cl- Ah. Ah, damn it. Sorry for the voices, guys. Um, my throat is a bit, eh. Yeah, but after hearing your story, it's clear to me that Dio intends to recruit the man with two right hands for his own purposes. He probably didn't send him to kill us right away so he could continue to manipulate Polaref. That's why exact, that's exact, that's exactly why I'm following you to Egypt. I know that finding Dio means finding my sister's killer. Excuse me, can you take a picture and give us an excuse to talk to you? <sighs> Jotaro looks irritated, obviously. Please? Shut up! Go ask someone else! Nah, nah, I don't feel there's no problem. How about the pool body shot? Saying that you get to spread your legs in the, frame, in the frame, plus I can get a close up of their thighs. Hi! Capture this photo. Sweat drop! I really don't get this guy. He really changes moods at a time. He thinks with the wrong head. Shut up! You think with the same head too, dumbass! One of those get days those girls are gonna be his undoing. Give me a fucking break. So let's save the game. Ah, a ship. It's about three days by sea from Hong Kong to Singapore. We might as well take the time off to recharge. But I've been wondering, why are you still wearing your school uniforms? It's gotta be hot in those things. We're students. We're students. Students should look like students. That's my reason. If not for the uniform, I don't think anyone would have been able to tell Jodo was in high school. Hmm. The sea breeze is very calming, though. Makes me feel like taking a swim. I brought some swimsuits, as in case. Let's swim later. Hey, I'm not gonna pretend. I'm not gonna pretend that I have a weakness with sw with swimming. So I'll just say, don't swim. Yes, I lied. Shut up. What a party pooper. Let me go. Let go of me, dumbass. I said let go! Are you listening to me? Let me go! That character is gonna be another side one-shot side character that the guys are on. Shut your pie hole, you little fat cell! What's going on? I thought spe I specifically requested that no other passengers be on board. Sorry, sir. It's a stowaway. He's stuck in right under the noses with a ship's cargo. Alright, come on now. I'm handing you over to the police. Please? Please! Anything but that, I just want to see my dad in Singapore. I'll work for you, I won't get in the way. Hmm, let me think about that. 
No, come with me. Damn it! Whoa, whoa, that's what I can eat easily at ten. I think he really intends to swim to show. Good luck with that. What should we do? Who cares? If he didn't think he could make it, he wouldn't have jumped in. Hey! Hey! What? What are you doing? The water's around here swimming with sharks! God damn it, I swim. I guess we're from normal British to, uh, normal British to Australian. Hey kid, come back! There's a shark! Come back! It's so dangerous! <laughs> That was a close one. Give me a fucking break, kid. You. Wait. A girl? Smell like piss. <laughs> that was a mission the anime, so fuck it. Chudro, look down! There's something in the water below you! Watch out! I can get from at this distance. Hayrfantugin! Kakili pulled Chodoro and the girl out of the water. <laughs> Could this girl... Baby... Is she a stand museal? She might have lured Chodoro into the water on purpose. She could have been a de- She could have been a decoy! Hey! Wait a minute! You wanna go? The girl pulled out a switchblade! Fight me! Mano mano! Come at me, losers! It's clearly playing dumb. What do we do? Throw her back in? Hold on. We're not 100% sure she's a sand user. We can't just throw her to the sharks. But we did a background check on this ship's captain crew. It has to be her. We just got to get her to admit it. So tell me, how is Dio? He, Dio, the hell is that? Hey, don't play Zam with us. I don't know what you're talking about, but that was a deal. A motorbike? I want to talk a fight. I'll cut ya. This, this demon place right to the third for your victim. <laughs> What's so funny, Twerp? Twerp? Uh, I really don't think it's her. Yeah, but if you were the enemy, wouldn't you want us to think you were a dumb kid? Hmm. Well. So this girl is the stowaway. Captain Tennille! Captain Dragon in the anime version because fuck you, copyright! <laughs> I have a strict policy regarding the stories. You may be a girl, but if I let you aboard, everyone's gonna think you can get free ride. Well, if you can get it, alright, you'll spread your trip locked in the cellar. Come on. No! Pardon me, Captain. You did check your backgrounds on all the members early, correct? You got it. They're real veterans. I'd say they've all been working for her for about 10 years minimum. I'm not so sure why they insisted on it, but never mind that. I got you to chip a cigarette. Please refrain from smoking my ship, where you're playing do with the ashes. Pollute our beautiful ocean. You may be a paying customer, but you still gotta follow my rules. Young man! Got it. Hold it. Who the hell do you think you are? If you just asked nicely, I would have put it on myself, dickhead. Chodoro, how do you speak to the captain that way? Hmm, why should I do that? After all, he's not the captain, he's our stand user. What? What? I mean, what? Nani? Stun? The heck is that? That's impossible, Chodoro. Think about what you're saying. Captain Daniel is a trusted friend of the Speedwagon Foundation. That's... that's true. It's true. There is zero reason to dub them. Do you have any proof, Jojo? Wait, slow down! What's a stand? What are you talking about? I've noticed a difference between stand users and regular people. They inhale even a little bit of cigarette smoke. The blood vessels on their nose pop out. Really? Everyone but the girl touched their nose. What are they doing? You're full of shit, Jotaro! That... I am. It looks like we found an idiot. Huh? Huh? Hmm? 
Chodoro. Why did you suspect the captain in the first place? I didn't. I planned upon that trick on everyone in the crew, in the crew eventually. Not bad! Not bad at all! It's true, I'm not the real captain. I sat him to Davy Jones' locker be long before we left Hong Kong. You think that's bad? I'll send you to hell! The enemy stand grab the girl! Sh shit! Trouble at sea! Lies and deception! Fear of the unknown! Back so at my card, the moon symbolizes! My stand's name is Dark Blue Moon! I didn't expect this to be a six on one fight! I plan to take you all out individually while I'm hiding! But not so that! It's a good thing this girl's stuck aboard! Now I've got a hostage! You would put an innocent killer kid's life in danger, would you? I'll just be taking it to the water with me now. There, even a six on one is no problem at all. The sea is my stand's playground. What makes you think I care? You don't have to care. Your star platinum may be fast, but it's nothing compared to my stand's swimming speed. My stand can swim faster than any fish in the world. If you want to compare speeds, you're dead in the water. <laughs> so, ready to head to a watery grave? The captain's attention is fixed on Jodoro. Now's your chance. Attack him? Fuck it. Water beats electricity! Motherfucker! <laughs> That's a chance! <laughs> Pharaoh! Dark Lumen. It's like this. Is <laughs> 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 oh yeah! Now it's a fucking. Now it's a party. Oh fuck! That wasn't even fair. God. I know, it wasn't fair, but well, fuck it, right? I've got st electric stats, therefore it's effective against water. You can't do shit! <laughs> you little prick, but I've still got the hostage. To the ocean! <laughs> you attack me before I can even land in the water, bats! The only one who had to a watery grave is you. Abdul, say something. Trying to predict the fortune in front of a fortune teller. Talk about getting ahead of yourself. Looks like he drowned. Dark blue moon, huh? That guy was kind of a letdown. Looks like the girl's okay. Good. What is it, Jodoro? Damn it! I'm getting pulled under! What? What did he say? Everyone! Look at Star Platinum's arm! Here, go coat of barnacles! Ah! What are those? Those are barnacles! They're a kind of sea creature! How are they starting to stand? That shouldn't be possible! Who cares? We gotta help them! I mean, who cares? We gotta help them! Come on, let's get them on board, quick! It, it's a stand! Damn it! Looks like he's still able to fight! Damn, I just stopped him when I punched him! They're multiplying! They're some my energy. At this rate, I'll be pulled in. Juno, pull up your stand. I can't. Getting sweaty. My grip is. And he gets pulled into the water. Jojo, damn it. This is bad. Wait, they stuck the Jojo when you punch him? That means. I, I knew it. Zacharias. Fuck. Let's save the game because uh, this will be a fight. Okay, I'm gonna continue the fight later, so hey, consider this Dark Blue Moon Part 1. In fact, I'm gonna title this video, video Dark Blue Moon Part 1. <sighs> 1. So...
yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more from me, for more from me, click that subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Of course, of course, be, uh, click that like in the comment. I always love your opinion on how I can improve the series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. But till then, keep on shocking. Boop.